This is the future. Lotus Elettra RSUV with 905 HP, considered late but still cool. The world didn't end when Porsche launched the Cayenne in 2002 and we also avoided the apocalypse when the Aston Martin DBX, Lamborghini Urus and Ferrari Purosang were introduced. To the dismay of purists, Lotus now has its own SUV and to add insult to injury, this car is purely electric. Elettra was late in terms of high performance, but he made amends with acceleration that beats supercars. CarWow's Matt Watson was given the opportunity to get behind the wheel of an Elettra prototype. Not just any version of Norfolk's first SUV, but an R model. The car has a dual motor setup with a combined output of 905 horsepower, 675 kilowatts, and 726 pound-feet, 985 newton meters, of torque. The journalist wanted to test Lotus numbers and see if the big electric car was as fast as advertised. The car sprinted from 0 to 60 miles per hour, 96 kilometers per hour, in 3.06 seconds and reached 100 miles per hour, 161 kilometers per hour, in 6.33 seconds before completing the quarter mile in 10.82 seconds. The launch isn't the best because the way the car transmits power to the road is a little annoying as the rear of the vehicle sways slightly. The car proved more stable in the following sprints, dropping the 0 to 60 miles per hour time to 2.99 seconds and the 0 to 100 miles per hour time to 6.28 seconds, with the quarter mile taking 10.78 seconds. The British company owned by Geely says the Elettra R is even faster, noting that it takes 2.95 seconds to reach 62 miles per hour, 100 kilometers per hour. That seems plausible given that production vehicles could be even faster than this prototype. It's incredibly fast for a vehicle of that size that weighs about 4,410 pounds or 2,000 kilograms. It is a very large vehicle, measuring 5,103 millimeters, 201 inches, long and 2,311 millimeters, 87.8 inches, riding on 23-inch wheels. Hopefully, the Elliter's success will help Lotus fund sports car development, just as the Cayenne and Mackin helped Porsche invest in the 718 and 911 lineups. This is the future.